as you can see now I'm getting on with welding the B pillars in uh, basically matched it and uh, got myself a nice line getting this bit straight and getting the length was pretty difficult it was a bit of a nightmare but I've learned on this one make it easier to do the other one which isn't in yet um, just getting this line straight and then you notice that there's too much material here so I've got a pie slice down here and then push that in line it back up and re-weld it so there's a lot of welding in a chop a bit more to go across there quite a bit more to do up there but it lines up nice and it's pretty straight I've decided I'm going to lead over all of my seams so I'm knocking them in a tiny bit leaving all the grind on, leaving it strong and just knocking it in a tiny bit and then I'm going to fill it all with uh, lead and flatten that off instead so I don't want to grind all of the weld off and end up with the paper thin piece of metal so it's all going to stay right, I started on this side on the B pillar put this side in uh, to get it exactly the same I'm going to make a just a frame of this wooden book or a plastic book or something just so that it's, I've got a pattern and then when I go to the other side I can reverse the pattern and just get it exactly the same and then I'll keep that pattern so that later on I can get my windows made from that pattern um, it doesn't matter about this at the moment I'll just cut that corner but I want to get this angle and that shape exactly the same both sides and then I know that from here to there and it's all exactly the same so I'm going to start now just uh, paper it up, tape it up cut that out and make a book uh, that was simple enough just made a cardboard template in rough and then from that I produced um, a plastic template so it's nicely fit in push it away it's nicely fit in and then I get to transfer transfer this to the other side and on the other side the window is miles out look it's about five ten mil too high still and it's a little bit too far back so to get this to line up and get that nice I've got to move the whole lot forward which as I'd only tacked it in place I can just cut that off give it a push around and then get it nice again so that this side matches that side spot on all I've done is cut that back off pulled it down and it fits snug as a bug all up the top lovely so I know that this side and that side exactly the same I can go ahead and put this back in using the template to get the lines the same and then recut that reattach it temporary again uh, just a few tacks make sure it stays where it needs to be get all the rest done and then I can final weld it get this corner sorted out a bit later any simple one just that's tacked back together now uh, so I'm pretty sure this height same height as the other side um, I'll keep that template now and just 25 mil off of each side all the way around and that should give me the window to get cut so quite a handy little template to do so I've left I've left this corner on so that I can just make my radius and then cut this to match copy it on the other side and they'll both be the same uh, not a big project today Saturday so going home 